In Singapore, every building you see is the product of hard work by professionals in the architectural, engineering and construction industries. Modern buildings tell the story of Singapore's development, charting its transformation from the slums and squatters of yesteryears to the vibrant cosmopolitan city-state that we see today. The construction industry not only creates jobs and drives economic activity, it also makes Singapore one of the best quality and most sustainable cities in the world to work and live in. The growth of this industry is supported by dynamic, innovative and passionate professionals who take on challenging tasks and responsibilities in bringing about the best built environment for our people as well as delivering green buildings that preserve the environment. But the jobs are also incredibly fulfilling. Every construction project requires close coordination of a team. The architect is the grand designer who creates the form or body of the building. A building usually begins with an idea or a concept in the architect's mind. But the architect doesn't just design. She is the one who transforms the specifications from the developer into a working blueprint. She makes sure that the building complies with the regulatory and technical requirements while keeping in mind the primary considerations of materials, functionality, aesthetics and the environmental impact. But the architect cannot work alone. She needs to work with others to translate her master blueprint into a physical building. The civil and structural engineer is the math and science whiz that produces the structural designs, setting the bones and joints to form the body of a building. A CNS engineer needs to decide how to build a solid frame and determine the location and size of every beam and column in a building. He also has to make efficient use of materials to construct the building in an environmentally sustainable manner. In other words, a CNS engineer is responsible for creating a practical and safe structure that can withstand anything the weather might bring, the wind, the sun, the rain and the temperature changes. While a CNS engineer is the structure specialist that sets the bones, a ME engineer is the expert responsible for connecting the veins, injecting the life force that brings a building into being. Every modern building needs electricity, lights, air conditioning and ventilation systems to become a living, breathing, habitable place. A m and &E engineer is the person that takes care of that, making sure of the efficient use of energy and water and quality indoor living. For every project, there must be someone to take care of the money issues. The quantity surveyor is the one that manages the costs of a building project, from the initial calculations to the final figures. She must be skilled in the balancing act, analysing the numbers, assessing the risks and preparing the tenders and contracts. That's a critical role, consolidating all the information and numbers to come up with the tender specifications and contracts. All these while ensuring that everything meets the required standards and quality. As the actual construction starts, someone has to ensure the smooth running of the project. The project manager's work revolves around three very important elements. Time, cost and quality. He becomes the key overseer once construction work begins, organising the resources to turn plans for a new building into reality. That means planning the time frame for all the necessary tasks, getting the project started from the initial stage of drafting to the final coat of paint, and to ensure that a project gets completed on time and within budget. So the building is completed, the people have moved in and the work is done. Or is it? Buildings are built to last for many years, some surviving several generations. 
but proper maintenance is necessary. The facility manager is like a doctor who performs regular health checks on buildings to ensure they are well maintained and in tip-top condition. Like a good caretaker, a facility manager looks after the needs and interest of the building and its occupants and comes up with ways to continually improve a building's amenities and services. That's to make certain that a building stays healthy and its occupants happy. These six professions form the core of a typical team in the construction and building industry. Together with many other unsung heroes, they are responsible for building the roofs over our heads. All this while taking care to preserve our environment and resources for our future generations. As the industry continues to grow, there are plenty of opportunities available for all talented and creative young people. To join the sector and be satisfied with a career that makes a difference. Together, let's build a green future.